Hey, what's going on guys? Tanmay here. Welcome back to another video tutorial on data structures and algorithms. And in this video, we're going to continue with our B-tree topic and take a look at the insertion process in B-tree. Now, before we proceed, I am assuming that you've already seen the previous videos in this DSA playlist. We started off with MV tree, then we started off with MV search tree, then we did the insertion and deletion in MV search tree, and then we came on to the topic of B-tree. We've also talked about the differences between a B-tree and MV search tree. And we concluded that B-tree is nothing but a special type of MV search tree, which is perfectly balanced and it has two extra properties. All these important points are already covered in previous videos. So if you have missed any of that, please make sure you watch those videos first and then we can continue with the insertion process. In this video, we're going to create a B-tree and do the entire insertion process from scratch with the help of a diagram so that you best understand the entire process. Now insertion process of B tree is slightly different compared to MV search tree. So make sure you pay attention. And with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so for revision purpose, I've already noted down the properties of B tree over here. I am assuming you already know all these things. And also I've mentioned all the entire insertion process that we are gonna follow in this video, okay? So we have a question over here which says that we have to create a B tree with value M equals to three. So when we say M equals to three, it means that in one node, we can only have maximum of two keys, right? So this is that point max keys equals to M minus one. So right now M is three. So three minus one is going to be equal to two keys per node, right? So there's that. And these are the different keys that we have to insert from left to right and create a B tree. Now, before we start with this insertion process, let me show you how a M way search tree would look like with these same values. Okay. So this is how a MV search tree would look like with the same values in the same order. Now, remember we are creating a B tree. Now, if you see this MV search tree, you can see that it is not balanced and the balance is more towards the left hand side or the left subtree compared to the right subtree, right? So this is not something that we want because remember when we have a unbalanced or imbalanced tree, it creates inefficiency. We've already discussed that when we covered the topic of balancing and the topic of AVL tree, you will find that video in this DSA playlist itself. It's a very important video on balancing and why we need that. Do check that out. But now let me show you the B tree with these same values, right? So you can take a screenshot of this M way search tree. And now when we create a B tree following this insertion process with these same values, the structure will look very different. Let me show it to you. So this is how B tree would look like with the same values inserted in the same order. And now you can see it is a perfectly balanced tree where this left subtree and right subtree have the same height and the height difference would result into zero, which will determine that this is a perfectly balanced tree. So how does this happen, right? This is where the different insertion process comes into picture. And now let's create this same structure. We'll recreate this entire tree step by step using these insertion values and by following this insertion process. Okay. So let's start off with step number one. Step number one says if the tree is empty, allocate a root node and insert the key. So let's start off with the first key, which is 12. I'll write 12 over here. This is like our very first node. And we know that the maximum number of keys per node is M minus one. M is given as three. So, max keys is going to be three minus one, which is going to be equal to two. Okay. So keep this in mind. All right. Let's take the second number now 23. So 23 will come over here. And since we have one space in this node, we'll insert 23 over here. Okay. So 23 is inserted. Now let's take a look at number six. Okay. So this is where now this node is full. Correct. So First step is not going to be followed. Second step is also not going to be followed. Second step is where we want to search the appropriate node for insertion. Right now there is only one node, right? So we don't have to search for any other node. So let's go to step number three. So in step number three, you can see if the node is full, which is the case right now, because this root node is completely occupied by two keys, then we have to follow the steps below. So that is 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, 3.4 and 3.5. So 3.1 says insert the elements in increasing order. Okay. So right now we got six. If we insert six in this already populated node, six will come somewhere over here. It cannot go inside this node, but for the purpose of following this process, we've kept it over here, right? 
so according to the order we have 6 12 and 23 in ascending order that is this increasing order so now step number 3.2 which says now there are elements greater than its limit right so this node can hold only two keys but we have three keys over here so it means that the elements are greater than this node's limit correct so now we have to split at the median so splitting at the median is the middle value and when we split this what we have to do we have to push the median key which is this one currently push the median key upwards and make the left key so which one is the left key to the median key it is six we have to make the left key as the left child and the right keys as the right child so right to 12 is 23 so essentially what we're doing is we will do 12 which will be shifted up we will have 6 to the left we will have 23 to the right and now basically what we have done is we've created a separate node for the median key and then we have created a left and right child okay so i hope things are clear so far so the left child for 12 is going to be this node and the right child for the key 12 is going to be this node okay let me erase out this upper diagram all right so now we have a new structure created we have two more nodes that have been created that is the left child and the right child and now we can again restart this insertion process because we've inserted the number six so now we can take on eight so when we insert eight now we already have created one level below the root level so this is the root level right now and we also have one more level below it so we have to find out the appropriate position for number eight it doesn't go inside this root node itself because we have to go one level below so this is where step number two comes into picture that we have to search the appropriate node for insertion now what do we mean by searching the appropriate place or appropriate node for insertion so remember in mv search tree also if the key that is to be inserted was smaller than the key inside the current node we would go to the left of that node so eight is smaller than 12 so we will go to the left in case we had a, another number let's say it was 15 then we would have gone to the right of 12 correct so that same logic applies over here also because b tree as we already discussed is nothing but a mv tree only with some extra special properties of balancing so now let's insert 8 we will go to the left of 12 towards the left of 12 we have this node 6 and we have one more space empty so we can now insert 8 over here okay so we've done insertion of 8 all right let's move forward let's insert 15 so 15 is obviously greater than 12 that is greater than the root node key value so we will go to the right of 12 which node is towards the right of 12 this one that has 23 in it so we'll insert 15 over here in proper ascending order so 15 will come first and 23 will be shifted over here so 15 will come over here and 23 will come over here and now we've inserted 15 as well let's move forward now we are at 19 okay so 19 is greater than 12 so we will obviously go to the left of 12 which is this node that has 15 and 23 but now this node is completely occupied or is completely full so again if the node is full we have to follow this step number three if the node is full follow these steps so 3.1 insert the elements in increasing order so let me insert 19 in between 15 and 23 because 19 is greater than 15 but smaller than 23 so we have 15 we have a new value 19 to be inserted and we have 23 now obviously there are elements greater than its limit inside this particular node so we have to split at the medium and right now the median is 19 so we have to push the median key upwards and make the left key as left child and right key as right child so when you push this 19 upwards remember that we have a root level above 19 right so above 19 we have this root node so when 19 is pushed above and since this root node has one space over here we can insert 19 directly in the root node so we'll insert 19 directly over here okay so once 19 is pushed upwards what will happen the node that was towards the left of 19 which is this 15 will basically become the left child of 19 correct and the node that was there to the right of 19 becomes the right child of 19 right so this is how the split has happened now we inserted 19 over here but since this node can only handle two elements 
19 was extra so we had to split at the median 19 was the median value we took it to the top level which is the root level and for 19 15 is smaller so it has to be towards the left of 19 that is this left side of 19 but it is also there on the right side of 12 so it's in perfect place similarly 23 is the right child of 19 because it is greater than 19 so i hope you got this split and this is how insertion happened over here for the number 19 okay so now let's move ahead and insert 45 so for 45 45 is obviously greater than 12 it is greater than 19 we will come to the right of 19 and 45 is greater than 23 and since we have one extra space inside this node we can add 45 over here directly so we'll insert 45 over here okay so 45 is done now let's insert the number 1 so 1 is obviously smaller than 12 so we will go to the left when we go to the left node you can see that this node is completely full and there is no level below it so we cannot search the appropriate node for insertion we have to insert it in this node itself so again if the node is full follow the steps insert the element in increasing order we are inserting 1 we will write 1 over here now 1 6 and 8 cannot be occupied in this one node because this node can only take two elements so we have to split at the median so for these three elements which is the median value it is 6 so 6 will be pushed upwards and 6 will go to the root node okay but now when you push 6 upwards the root node is also full correct so you can see that this is where step number 3.4 comes into picture so far we didn't come to 3.4 we were good with 3.3 itself but now what has happened is if the upper node is not full insert the node is increasing order that is fine we increase that over here when we pushed 19 towards the top but if the upper node is full which is the case right now because we are pushing 6 into the upper node the upper node is full we have to repeat process 3 again so now over here 6 is coming over here inside this root node and now again this node is having the same problem where we have one extra node so again we have to write this in ascending order 6 12 and 19 are in ascending order and now the median value is 12 so again 12 also has to be pushed towards the top again okay so ultimately what we are going to do is we are going to have a major split over here two times so 12 is pushed towards the top let's write 12 over here 6 will be the left child because 6 was pushed from this node so let me write 6 over here since 12 is pushed to the top 19 will be the right child of 12 correct so far the split is correct 6 was pushed from this node to the top level so 1 and 8 will be its left and right child respectively so i'll write 1 over here 8 will be the right child of 6 so for 12 15 was its right child but since 12 was pushed up and 19 remained at the same level for 19 which is the left child 15 so 15 will be the left child of 19 as it is it is also towards the right of 12 ultimately right because when you want to go to 15 from 12 you will first have to take a right so it's in proper order and proper place for 19 we also have 23 and 45 over here so i'll write that all right so now we have all the nodes and keys in their proper respective positions after the splitting and positioning following this insertion process all right so now let's insert the next value that is 4 so 4 is smaller than 12 we will go to 6 4 is smaller than 6 we can go one level down now and we can insert 4 directly over here so i'll write 4 because there is one more room inside this node correct okay let's insert 7 now so when you insert 7 7 is smaller than 12 7 is greater than 6 so we'll go inside this node there is one more room so i'll write 7 over here and 8 over here in proper ascending order so now this node has become completely occupied and we have inserted 7 okay so what we have now left is we've inserted all these values till 7 and only value to be inserted is left that is 5 so let's insert 5 5 will obviously go to the left of 12 because 5 is smaller than 12 5 is smaller than 6 so we'll go to the left of 6 in the left subtree of 6 we have 1 and 4 so this node is completely full so 5 will come in ascending order starting from 1 4 and 5 over here and again we'll follow this step 3 and we'll insert the elements in increasing order obviously there are elements greater than its limit so 1 4 and 5 all three cannot fit inside this one single node 
so we will have to split at the median so that's what we are going to do 4 is going to be splitted up and it will go to the top over here in this node so let's do that so when we split 4 4 will go to the top I'll write 4 over here because there is one more room for one more key inside this node and the 1 that is the key value 1 will become the left child of 4 because it was to the left of 4 4 was over here the key 1 was to the left of 4 so it will become the left child and 5 was to the right of 4 so that will become the right of 4 to the right of 4 correct so ultimately we have left child of 4 and right child of 4 something like this and ultimately we have completed our b tree structure with these values so now if you observe this b tree it is completely balanced you can you know calculate the balancing factor by calculating the height of the left subtree subtract it with the height of the right subtree and you'll obviously get zero because it is perfectly balanced over here so now we've inserted all these values you can see 12 we have 12 we have 23 we have 6 we have 8 8 is over here we have 15 19 45 1 4 7 and 5 so this is what ultimately has given us this output let me just show you how it would look like this is exactly what we got correct so we have 12 we have 4 and 6 so we have 12 to the left of 12 we have 4 and 6 to the right of 12 we have 19 and 19 has a left of 15 and 23 and 45 if, if you observe over here to the left of 12 we have 19 to the left of 19 we have 15 and to the right of 19 we have 23 and 45 similarly for this structure also 4 and 6 we have 1 5 7 and 8 so if you just observe 4 and 6 1 5 7 and 8 so this means this insertion process is working perfectly fine and we have successfully inserted all the values and created a b tree which is different from mway search tree all right so this was the entire insertion process you guys can note down these steps and you can also you know practice different keys and you can take different m value as well you can try with higher values of m you can take m as 4 so we will have three keys in every node and then you can insert more values as well so that will give you a good practice and understanding of the insertion process of b tree all right so that's it for this video guys i hope you understood the entire insertion process of b tree if you like this video please give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments how this video was do share it with your friends and i'll see you guys in the next one peace